This video and hundreds more like it, available on freephotoshopvideotutorials.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to uh, take a photo and make it look like it was a puzzle piece. So let's have a look here at our photo. And uh, what we're going to do here is just um, add in uh, a relief here so that it seems like that the photo is actually part of a puzzle. And we're going to, we're still putting the puzzle together. And there's still some pieces, uh, you know, still to be placed uh, in, put in place and so forth. So uh, the first thing that we need to do here is just um, open up our uh, layers palette and we're going to uh, duplicate our um, layer here. And now we're going to add a new layer, bring it down here to the middle and fill that in with black. So with black that is alt and backspace because it's my foreground color so we have black here. So we have our original background layer untouched and the new one that here we're going to make some modifications to right now to get that whole uh, puzzle uh, into place here what we need to do is uh, go into filter and show all menu items if you have that there you want to go into filter texture and texturizer and with texturizer you're able to bring in different textures to to the photo so for example some built-in here is brick burlap uh, canvas and sandstone. Now what we want to do is we want, we want to open up our own image here that has this, the, the, the puzzle pieces. So what we're going to do is load that by clicking here on the arrow and load texture. And now we're going to go into the, it comes here with the exercise, it comes in, it's called the uh, puzzle texture. So we're going to load that in and as you can see here we have uh, the puzzle. We can zoom out here to see uh, most of the image here and you can get a, a good idea for what size of puzzle pieces you want not right right now you, what you might want to do is just reduce the size to have more puzzle pieces let me just zoom in here a little bit more okay so we have small puzzle pieces or you can scale it up to have bigger puzzle pieces now I'm gonna put this down to 75 percent because the the size of the you know the, the size of the pieces I think is a, a pretty good size. So I'm going to leave it here at 75% and the relief here at 4. Now all this is uh, you know, up to your own discretion. If you want your pieces bigger or smaller you can change that and the relief really just makes it the, the puzzle pieces more or less obvious. Now I prefer it on 4 here and the other thing here is also the light, the light source. So we can put it for example the puzzle piece at the bottom and the bottom doesn't quite look right because it looks like the light is inverted. So you want to go from something that is starting from the top uh, you know, and uh, so like something like top right, top left kind of also looks a little bit weird. I prefer just top right. It just looks more natural for the puzzle pieces. So we're going to go ahead and just use these, this setting here for this image, which is 75% for and top right. We're going to click OK. And now we have that texture on top of our puzzle piece. Right. Now, the other uh, part that we want to do here is actually select some of these puzzle pieces and uh, sort of take them out and rotate them and make it seem like they're about to be put in place, but not quite there yet. Now, the easiest way to actually select these puzzle pieces, you'd think, would be perhaps something like this, uh, the uh, magic wand tool, for example, so you can select the puzzle piece. But it doesn't uh, quite work that way. You can try to, you know, use the uh, magnetic lasso tool. But none of these tools are actually working, you know, quite right. It doesn't actually make the selection uh, as nicely as, you know, like you want to just get the exact puzzle piece. So one way to do this is to first of all remember what it is that we did with the size of the puzzles. So we, we reduce the size uh, to 75% from the original size, right? So we want to open up that image, and I already have it here open, but it comes in your uh, uh, in your exercise, right? So we have the original puzzle piece here that we used as a texture, and we reduce the size in the texture option to 75%. So now what we're going to do here is go into image, image size, and reduce that, select your percent, and, so, and reduce that to 75%. Now had you used another size, then you just you know, put in the size that you put. If you put 150%, that's what you put in here, 50%, and so on. So we use 75 on that one, we'll use 75 on this one. Uh, make sure that we are on, on all these here ticked, so that we are on 75 and 75 and so forth. Okay, so we've just reduced the size of the image. Now what we want to do is bring this in. So we're going to do a uh, Control and A to select all, Control and C to copy, and now we're going to go into our puzzle and just do a control and V so that we paste that puzzle into a new layer. Right. 
Now what we want to do is just move this layer here the, uh, to the um, top right, which is where the uh, things start lining up pretty nicely because the uh, the texture starts being used from the top right. So there we are. Now we're going to duplicate this. So I'm going to do uh, Control and J, and now we're going to move that piece over here to uh, to the other end and make sure that they are aligning so that we are just continuing the puzzle. We're going to select the two layers here and we're going to do merge layers. And now we're going to duplicate that again. And once again, move that all the way to the bottom to where it snaps down to the bottom. So we're just making that. So we're just essentially just filling in the puzzle uh, without any texture in it, just the, the, the puzzle image as it comes. So we're merging the layers again. Now you can see if I remove and add, we have, and actually I can do a multiply here, we have the exact puzzle, uh, you know, over, over top of the, uh, of the image. And the whole purpose of this is to actually be able to select the puzzle pieces because now it's quite easy to select some pieces. We just go with, um, with our magic wand tool and we can just select the piece that we want. And I'm, what I'm actually going to do is just uh, increase the tolerance here to 50 so that it's getting all the way into the little to the little edges here, to, to the little gray ends here. We want to capture as much as the white as possible. So now what we want to do is just reduce this opacity here to zero. So in a, in a, in a sense, what happens now is that you are still, the, the, the magic wand tool is still selecting things from this image since we are on this layer. We're just not viewing it, but that doesn't, does, doesn't change the ability of the magic wand tool to make selections. So what this does is allow us to just click and it automatically selects the puzzle piece for us without it, you know, the actual puzzle piece being in our way. So you can select which puzzle piece you want. For example, let's select uh, this one. And now we can go into our layer and actually do a special command here. Now you've learned uh, Control and J, which copies, uh, would duplicate this part here onto a separate layer. Now if you want to do, in a sense, uh, if we want to do a copy cut, we want to actually copy this into a new layer while deleting uh, the part that is in this layer. We just have to do a slight change. Instead of Control and J, it's Shift, Control, J. So let's do this now. Shift, Control, and J. And what we've done here is this uh, layer here is on um, is by itself and here let me just untick this here for you we no longer have that layer there so we've deleted that right so now we can move that puzzle piece for example we can rotate it with control and T right and then we can also add a drop shadow to make it look nice and with the drop shadow what I do is just uh, put an angle here of uh, 120 let me just type in here an angle of 120 which is roughly the same uh, light source that's coming in here and then you can play around with the distance. Uh, I think a distance of five or six is good. And also the size. I'm going to just uh, increase the size just a little bit here and tone down the opacity just a bit. It's not scientific, but just something that makes it look right for you. And now you can move that puzzle piece there. So now we have one of those puzzle pieces. Now we can go back in to select another puzzle piece if you like. You can go back in to our layer here. Um, and it's, it's important when trying to select the puzzle pieces to be on that layer, right? Because that allows us to make that quick selection. It's very quick. Now we just go back into our image, shift, control, and J. And now we can move that image about, rotate it, and add a drop shadow, which will, it will, uh, won't remember the drop shadow effects that we had before, but what you can do is right click on the layer here, on this layer here that we already added, already added the drop shadow, right click on it, whoops, right click on it, select copy layer style. And what this does is it copies the, the whole settings for the drop shadow that we had. And now in this layer here, with this puzzle piece, we can just right click and paste layer style. And now that will apply the exact same drop shadow that we had on this one. So it's good for consistency. And now we can just go on and keep on moving puzzle pieces. And I'll just do a few more here. We can also do uh, real quickly, if you want to move a few pieces at the same time, it's just select them with shift, right? So you shift selecting a few pieces. Whoops. If you do a mistake, control and Z. So we're moving a few of these pieces all at the same time. And the way we're going to do this is by selecting here uh, our background layer and just doing shift Control and J again, right? Now, if we move these pieces, they'll all move in unison here. Now we're gonna go ahead and do a paste layer style, and uh, we'll probably do a rotate as well. 
So there we are. And now we can move all those pieces all at once. Whether or not this works for you is, you know, it, it obviously is quicker to move more of these puzzle pieces, but maybe moving one at a time is more is optimal. Or if you're trying to save some time, maybe you just want to do a few at, at a time, three or four at the same go and do a few more. Okay, so there you are, your puzzle pieces, and it looks pretty cool. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.